And we are rolling. And the boxer ain't my glasses, and these aren't even really my glasses, just the character wears glasses. Uh, but I was on Facebook this morning, and these indie, these people, in, in some ways I can see why more people don't support indie rock. You can see Thimble over my shoulder. Oh, she's very angry this morning. Thimble? I, I, I don't want you to have your tantrum, Thimble. Oh, she's one man. She's, she tried to bite me earlier. She had to get locked up. Um, but this guy was all mad. Going to see Brian Fallon, who is, honestly, this guy is a national treasure. Even my nephew, Joe, knew who Gaslight Anthem was. And he's at college in Cincinnati. Uh, this guy is Indie Rock's big gun. And you know what happens when you go online and buy tickets, which you probably don't know. Well, you were helping me buy them that one day. And they put this big search on down there. Yeah, that's what they do. Uh, how long have you been alive and bought things on the internet that there isn't some surcharge going to third parties? When you pay your taxes online, you have to give some third party. I said, fine, here, take it. Be my liaison with these people. Please, take it, give it to them. Take it here. How much do you need? <laughs> I'll be a bicycle messenger if I have to. Just leave me out of it. Give them the money and keep me off these people's radar. And so the, the tickets are $22. You honestly do think in this world, it, it probably costs more than that to go to. You're going to get to see Brian Fallon for $22. <laughs> I, I put on there, uh, you, you know, there's always that jack up on there. Every ticket I bought, the Lucero tickets were like $26 by the time it's all said and done. It was $100, or... It's not bad, though, right? Uh, we tip hundreds of dollars at the show. Yeah. I don't even understand why these people are complaining. I, I said, you need to tip at the show, and that our generation does not support this art. You have a sense of entitlement that you are owed these artists to give you this music. And if you are some douchebag that is going to go to the show and have anything negative say to Brian Fallon, uh, please don't even go. And, you know, if you need an extra, you know, $12, <laughs> I'll give it to you. Brian Fallon is, is really, I mean, before I knew who Dave was, to me Dave was a more intellectual version of Brian Fallon. And I'm sure there's Brian Fallon and fans who just attacked me like some kind of rabid hyenas for saying that. Or I just don't understand. Brian Fallon's a little bit more um, Stanley Kubrick, if that's an analogy. I think Stacy could understand that. I, I, the, stop it, Max. Um, you're going to have to let him out. And it's just all you're going to have to do. It. She's like, oh, my God. No, oh, no, not out front. Uh, no, just open the thing. And, and, and again, arm. Well, no, no, Summer, no. We don't open the door and let him walk around. And she's going out front of out back, but listen to me, I'm going to stop it. I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it. You're going to open the door and then you're going to arm movement towards the back door. And that way you're not going to be, there's not going to be any um, sort of pause about what he's doing. You're opening the door and you're arm movement quickly towards the back door to open it. didn't it? If you have a dog that you don't... Summer, Summer, can you just put Fred in the cage? Why would you put him back out there? This is what goes on right here. I, that's why I got these glasses. I'm just like some kind of a fucking ridiculous school professor trying to teach the whole world a lesson all the time. It's disgusting. I gotta get rid of the glasses. I've got to get back on, you know, Boone's Farm wine or something. <laughs> no, I keep them in the cabinet now. But yeah, that's what's happened. I've turned into some sort of school teacher character. Oh, I'm just teaching the whole world all the time. That's right. I don't want you guys to understand. Anyway, this was about Ryan Fallon, anyway. Which I did say on that day video for the about Ryan Fallon. But I only meant that in a nice way. I mean, to me, Dave, 
Ben Nichols and Brian Fallon are all contemporaries. None of them is better than the other. Brian Fallon is more well known, and in a way, I kind of think it's easier for people to like bands. Stop. They seem to like bands. People say, oh, I wish Dave had his band. Why? Yeah, no, I, I would. You know, I would like to see Brian Fallon solo. And I would, I wouldn't want to meet him. I wouldn't want to talk to him. But, I mean, we would definitely bring him a card and everything. I, I don't know how to not do that. I don't know how to not do that. Because I don't think our generation take, I do think, and I understand that's what it is now.